two, two, three. Okay. Yes. At what time you are going to come at my office? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. What's your name okay, again? Okay, then no problem. If you are not 100% sure about this, then I'll send the local authorities at your place to get you into the custody. And they will take you to me. Mm, okay. Well, have a great day, okay? Tiri market, tiri. Today I will be confronting a social security scammer whilst watching him on his own CCTV camera. The center, which is based in Bangalore, India, is running a so-called SSA scam. My American viewers, it is probably easy to imagine what such a scam call will sound like, but not everyone knows what the SSA is. The SSA, or Social Security Administration, is a United States government agency that administers social programs covering stuff like disability and retirement services. They also give us social security numbers, which are national identification numbers for US citizens. These scammers are thus pretending to be from the United States government and the scam is completely made up to scare people into paying money. You only just listen to this threatening voicemail that they spam thousands of people with every single day. Hi, this is Officer Sarah Schultz calling you from the legal department. The very second you receive this message you need to leave your work aside so that we can discuss about your case and take necessary action on this matter. In order to connect Federal Agent Press 1 and you will be connected to the concern department. If we don't hear from you, then we will be forced to take legal action against you. I think it should be pretty obvious that if you receive a call like this, it's always a scam. The United States government would never send out a voicemail like this asking you to press 1 to talk to a federal agent. If we go back to that voicemail, the robotic voice kindly requested us to stop whatever we were doing and to press 1 to get connected to a United States federal agent. Let's listen in to the start of a call to see what such a federal agent sounds like. Department of Social Security Administration, I'm Help you. you need to verify me your case ID number so I can pull out your information. It didn't give me the case number. Okay, no problem. In order to give the case number, I need you to verify the last four digits of your social. Four. Eight. One minute. Let me check and pull out your records. Am I speaking to Miss Diana Link? Yes. Your mailing address is two one. Gardner Road? Yes. Okay. No. Now, my name is Officer Gavin with the batch number two eight three six. The reason you have received the call from our department is because we have received the notice from the law enforcement agency to suspend your social security number because we have found some suspicious files of information under your name and your social security number ma'am we found an abandoned car in texas the local reported that this car was suspicious after which the local sheriff investigated on the car and they found some blood and drug residue inside the car they found that the car was rented under your information under your social security number we also found a mailing address and the address which was in houston texas was raided by the state ranger division and u.s marshal and they found some types of synthetic drug section as well as they recovered some paperwork which is related to the banking institution like bank of america chase bank u.s bank USA Bank and Credit Union and all this six bank account was open under your name and your social security number. I have no idea and I don't have a bank at any of those at any of those. The information is wrong. Someone may have an access for your information or you might be the victim. Like I said earlier, this scam is purely made to scare people into thinking that somebody else is misusing their social security number for drug trafficking. The scammers hope to terrify people to a point where they have full control over them and will then make their victims send out money. Even during an unsuccessful call, the scammer still wants to make people leave the conversation with stress and uncertainty. This is definitely one of the worst scams out there right now. Especially the guy that we heard in the intro was a big bully compared to the other scammers. It it almost seemed like he wasn't trying to steal people's money, but just trying to stress people out for a living. He wasn't so tough, however, when he noticed that somebody had opened up his webcam. No, wait, wait, look at my screen, bro. Wait, he's looking, he sees the light, bro. Turn it off. <laughs> wait, no, he sees the light, no! Oh, yeah. what? I thought that was a no lighter, too. How did he know? How did he fucking know? <laughs> the face, man, he, he realized, he was like, what? Came closer. Even though these guys are a group of bullies, not a lot of people fall for their scam. It is one of the most devastating scams I've seen so far, but on the other hand, it's also a scam with a success rate far below the rates of the Amazon and tech support scam, for example. In my experience, this fraudulent campaign actually has the lowest success rate of all scams because it's just not believable. I mean, a federal agent calling you with a generic name and Indian accent from the Social Security Administration, would you believe that or react the same as the following people? Did you receive any case ID or any reference number from that 
Teddy Market. Who is this? Social Security Administration. You are speaking with Officer Mark Frankel. <laughs> you are full of shit, bro. Hey, fuck you, motherfucker. You need to verify me the last four digit of his social. I will never fucking do that. Number one, you are a fucking. Come get me, motherfucker. Go fuck yourself. You never fucking call me again. Oh, fuck it. Suck my nuts. You, I know better. This I'm not verifying shit. I'm a scammer. You think that? I'm not a scammer, sir. I'm a fucker. Oh, fuck your wife. I'm a scammer. I'm a scammer. I'm a scammer, 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 scammer. In fact, so little people believe this scammer that after a few hours of unsuccessful scamming, he started going crazy. It's a scam? Why the fuck you pressed one? Why the fuck you pressed one then? Huh? Did you mark a chuk? Why the fuck you're speaking like this? Fuck you, motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. Hello? Hello? Who is this? And right now I'm in India, but I'm from United States. I came here to for the vacation, so tell me what you want. Now, what happens to the 0.01% of people that actually do think it's real, and how do they actually turn the story into something that will make the victim send them money? Alan, if you are agreed to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and arrest one on hold. In that way, we can help you to secure your money, provide you with a new social number, help you to clear your name out of this case file. I agree to cooperate because I know I didn't do anything. Okay. Now trust me, cancelling your arrest warrant is not at all an easy task. Now I'm going to transfer the line to the senior investigating officer. You can talk to him. Make sure people lie to him because he's the authorized person in regard with your case. He will help you out to safeguard your money before the department freezes your bank account. Okay? All right. This is Officer Mark yep. Franco, the Senior Investigation Officer on a federally recorded line. Now, Alan, as you understand perfectly, this is a matter of identity theft. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you the further pr procedures how your name will be cleared out. I would like to verify that how many bank accounts are originally owned by you. I have two. What is the approximate balance you hold in your first state checking account? It's under a thousand dollars. All right. Can you tell me one thing, Alan? How far is the bank yes. from your place? It's first maybe bank. five blocks. I'm going to provide you the procedure how you can safeguard your money. All you need to do is you first need to go ahead convert the money which you have in your bank account and your check-in into a federal electronic bond. Do you have any government affiliated stores such as Kroger, Walmart, Supercenter? Do you see a Dollar General in your place? Yes, there is. It's right next to my bank. Dollar General is also one of the government affiliated locations where you can get a federal electronic bond so you can register the money into a federal electronic bond. <sighs> yeah. So are you ready to leave your house, Alan, to for your bank? Yes, I can I'll Just make find sure. a way down there. Or... First of all, you have to go to your bank, withdraw all the funds from your check-in. So we can safeguard that money. Make sure yes, I... you have your debit card with First Aid Bank, you have your cash, and you have your ID proof along with your face mask. Okay? Yes, sir. To put this in simple terms, the scammer wants the victim to go to his bank, withdraw all of his money, and buy gift cards for the scammers, which he calls an electronic bond. Of course, I couldn't let this scam happen, and so I decided to step in by forcefully logging the closer out of his calling app and ringing up the victim before he could log back in. Yeah, I just wanted to warn you, the guys that you're on the phone with are claiming to be from the Social Security Administration. They're scammers from India trying to steal your money. So one way or another, I'm not in trouble. No, no. Then I can relax. All right. Right. <laughs> That's a load off my mind. Saving victims like this is always pretty risky. There's a chance that the victims are brainwashed by the scammers to a point where they don't want my assistance, simply ignore my advice and still send money to the scammers. It's better to stop scams in the early stages when the people they're on the phone with are still clear of mind. There are several ways to do this, but my personal favorite is just shouting through the conference to ruin the scam. Name, my batch ID number, and I will provide you with your case ID number. So it will be helpful for you. You're a scammer, right? You're a scammer. Sorry? Who's I'm this? Sorry? Hello? Hello? <laughs> this way of stopping scams is also pretty risky as the scammers might gain intel on the fact that people are messing with their machines and phone system. Me and the people I work with would rather sit at our desk for hours snatching away all the calls from the scammers so that they don't even get the chance to talk to anyone. Social Security Administration, you're speaking with James Boiler. How may I help you? Yeah, you, you call him. Do you have any case ID number with your call for me? No. Uh, can you confirm me the last four digits of your Social Security? Uh, mine are 9256. Okay, why did you just give that to me? You should be careful, man.
I, I could have been a scammer. These guys that are calling you are scammers. I just intercepted the call. You should never give out the last four of your social or any personal information to anybody claiming to be from the SSA, okay? You guys suck. <laughs> You scare me half to death, and then you ask me for this, and then I shouldn't give it to you, and you're yeah. right, I should not. Yeah, no, if you ever get a call from Amazon or the SSA or, you know, Microsoft, whatever, it's always a scam. If they ask for any personal information, just hang up the phone. With this method of saving victims, there is still a chance that some calls might slip through our fingers, and so even better is to prevent calls from happening at all. How is this possible? Well, changing the scammers their voicemail turned out to be a pretty good solution. This is a scam call from scammers pretending to be from the Social Security Administration. Big institutions like the SSA, Amazon, Microsoft will never call you, so if you get any calls like this in the future, please know it's a scam. Feel free to press 1 to waste an Indian scammer's time or ruin their day by cussing them out. Again, please press 1 to ruin a scammer's day. Thank you. This is really the best I can do, informing around 130,000 people a day about scams and also heavily demotivating the scammers by instructing the victims to mess with them. These guys haven't been able to successfully scam someone in three weeks and I will make it my personal mission to make these guys go bankrupt. It also seemed like people really listened to what I had to say and obeyed my command in the voicemail to ruin these scammers their day. You have to do it. You have to do it. You are the real criminal who are doing some drugs in the country and transferring the money to the illegal countries like the terrorism countries like Mexico, Colombia and things, you are going to face it, not I am the one, okay? You are mistaken, bro. You are mistaken, not I am the one. Alright, listen to me then. I'll squeeze some lemon on your girlfriend pussy and I'll fuck her. Do you want me to do that? Now, let's stop dealing with potential victims for a second and call up the scammers themselves, specifically this guy. He is a fronter that takes calls and transfers them to a closer when he knows that the victim is about to send money. It took me a few weeks to figure out how to get connected to these scammers as they only have an outbound campaign and no inbound number and in the meantime they switched from the SSA scam to the refund scam as the SSA scam was super unsuccessful. Let's see if we can catch the scammer out. Thank you for reaching Amazon, how can I help you? Yes, hello. I got a call about an order on my account and I had to press 2 to cancel the order. Well, I, as I can see here, the order was placed for an iPhone 12. Now, what I need to do is I'll just get you connected with our security network. So, is your laptop on at the moment? It's A-N-Y-D-E-S-K, www.anydesk.com. You said you're calling from, let me tell from Amazon or are you from a different, different uh, institute? Or? No, uh, we are Amazon Security Department. So, you are part of Amazon, like a department in Amazon? Yes. Okay, where, and where are you guys headquartered? Are you in the same same city or is it just a different different thing no, we are at seattle we are at seattle okay, so, uh, you just need to check the boxes so. what do you see now do you see the security warning yep just be there okay hello just give me a moment all right uh just give me a couple of seconds my banking, everything is on here Okay, just give me a moment. Let me have a word with my security, one of my senior. Okay, just give me a moment, please. Uh, sir, are you there? Yeah, I'm still listening. Okay. So, uh, I have my uh, senior here, okay, and uh, I'm just going to transfer this call to him, and he will be the best person to guide you further, okay? And uh, just give me a moment, and uh, thank you so much for your time. It was lovely talking to you. Okay. Kindly hold on, please. Thank you for holding the line, ma'am. This is a senior supervisor over here. How are you doing today? Um, I'm a sir, but I'm, I'm doing okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, brother, set password to do this. You're, you're calling me from a California phone number, 213. Uh, no, sir. How come is that possible? Yeah, it says on my phone, 213-787... No, sir, it can't be possible. What's, what's the area code again for Seattle? Do you know? I'm sorry? I said, what's the area code for Seattle again? So at this point, the scammer thought I was asking too many questions and that he couldn't steal any money from me as I was too suspicious, so he just hung up the call and gave up. I decided to call the scammer back and because of this, he got very confused as, like I said before, they don't have an inbound campaign set up. Yeah, sorry, the line got disconnected. This is James. I'm sorry? 
This is James again, the line got disconnected. Alright, just give me a second, sir. At this point, the scammer is very confused and starts talking to his boss, asking him how I could have possibly got them back on the line as they don't have a callback number. The boss obviously knew that they did not have this option built in to call back, so everyone started getting a bit suspicious and gathered around the computer. I do not want to waste this connection, so I should probably stop calling them, right? Nah, let's have some fun and call them one more time to piss them off. Alright? Can I ask you, where are you guys headquartered? Headquartered where are you Headquarter Capare Bulre. Bulona, Riverside, California. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello? Uh, Riverside, California, sir. Okay, yeah, no, I just needed to know what city. I, like, I'm in California, I'm in Santa Ana as well, so it's nice to talk to somebody that's from here as well. Yeah, I can barely hear you because of the background. It sounds really busy over there. Is it like a busy, busy center? Or? Yes, yes, yes. What? And if you need any help, just why, tell me. Why does everyone have an Indian accent over there? Like, I'm getting the suspicion that you're not actually from California. I'm sorry to ask you, but is it is it true or? No. So you're. It's not you're, that. Okay. What time is it over there in California? Hello. Yes. It's ten eleven. Can you name any street in Santa because Barbara? I'm busy. If you live there? Yes. Okay. You can you can name a street for me. Right? Okay. Yeah, hold it. Okay. okay. You need to look it up first. To me, it almost seems like you're an Indian scammer. Like you're a f***ing scammer. It's like, it pisses me off, man. All these f***ing scammers. Are you a scammer, man? No. You're not a scammer. If this wasn't a scam, then I would surely ask for your personal information. Okay. You're a scammer. You're a f***ing scammer, right? <laughs> no. No, you're not a scammer. <laughs> Look at they're pointing at the screen. It's funny, huh? You're laughing? <laughs> and they disconnected. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, I think that's enough. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to buy me a coffee, my Patreon and PayPal links are in the description. I hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe, stay cautious. Bye bye.